Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Well, I wanted to make a pineapple upside down cake in this small two by five inch cake pan. It's really easy to make and I really like pineapple upside down cake. You wanna start with a quarter teaspoon of salt and that's kosher salt and then an egg. And this is kind of a small egg, but any size will work. One egg and we want to beat the egg Kind of get that all nice and mixed up. I hope things are going well in your world. All kinds of things are happening. You never know what might be next. Well, the best we can do is just stay positive and keep moving forward. And then a tablespoon. Uh, well, in fact, we're going to use five tablespoons of sugar. So quarter teaspoon of salt, one egg, five tablespoons of sugar. Simple, huh? And then next is flour, and I'm using self-rising flour. You want to use five to six tablespoons, and you'll just have to decide after you mix it if it looks too thin. And I do want to thank you for watching my videos, and I want to ask you to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any. So, thanks again for watching the videos. Okay, now it's time for some pineapple juice. And this is just out of the can, three tablespoons of pineapple juice. It gives it that good flavor. Okay. And now some oil. I'm using olive oil, but any cooking oil will work. Three tablespoons of oil. You see how easy this is? Anyone can do this. And I'm going to be using my countertop oven to cook it with. And that makes it simple as well. And I want to invite you to browse through my channel. I have hundreds of videos showing you how to make bread and biscuits and cobblers, even ice cream. And of course, there's barbecue, gravy, yeast rolls, even a video on how to make pickled watermelon rind. <laughs> Can you believe that? So there's a lot of videos to look through, and hopefully you'll find some that you like. So please take a look through my channel. Okay, and now one quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we wanna mix that together, just very simply. All the ingredients will be listed in the description box below, as well as some helpful links. So give that a look as well. Uh, after you finish watching the video. Okay, we've got it mixed up like this and it's nice and thin. And now for this cake pan. We want to get some butter and apply some butter to the bottom and the sides. This will help it release. And not to mention the good butter flavor it'll add. So be generous, get the sides and bottom. Okay, Next up is the pineapple. Now these are pineapple rings. In fact, we really only have room for one whole ring. And then I've broken up into some smaller pieces, another ring. And you just want to place them like this around the pan. Like I said, I really like pineapple upside down cake. And it's not just the pineapples, but it's also the cherries, the maraschino cherries. And those go in next. And we want to place them in the open spots. That one's a little larger, so I'll put that in the middle. Put the smaller one out on the edge. And put them in the openings. Just like that. Okay, one more. And that's it. Next, we want to put some light brown sugar. Just sprinkle that on. Kind of give it a good coating. It adds to the flavor. You can use light brown or dark brown, whatever you happen to have. I just happen to have the light brown and want to put this on. And now it's time to pour in the cake batter. Very simple. Just pour it in and scrape it in. It comes up about halfway, a little more than halfway in the pan. We'll take it over to the oven, tap it, and let some of those air bubbles pop, 
put it into the countertop oven. I'm going to bake this for 33 minutes at 300 degrees. Now that's for this oven. You'll have to experiment on your oven if you have a countertop. And if you use your regular oven, well, you'll have to uh, probably go for 350 degrees. But after 33 minutes, it's ready. And we'll put it on a rack to cool. And I'm going to let it cool for 30 minutes before I try to turn it out. After 30 minutes, I'll take a knife and just run around the edges like this. And hopefully it will release. Put a plate on top and then turn it over and try to get that cake to come out. Come on now. Here we go. There it goes. Oh, I tilted the edge and it pulled that one cherry off. That's okay. We'll put it back. Anyway, if I would have pulled it up straight, it wouldn't have pulled that cherry off. But there we have it. A beautiful pineapple upside down cake for two. We'll just slice that open and let you look inside. It's wonderful, moist, delicious. Let's cut another little piece. Got to cut through that pineapple. There we go. I hope you can tell how moist this cake is. Nothing worse than a dry cake. But this one is not dry at all. Beautiful and full of flavor. Mmm. So good and so easy. I hope you can give this recipe a try if you like pineapple upside down cake. And I don't know what I like more, the cherry flavor from the cherries or the pineapple flavor from the pineapples. <laughs> Either way, it's good. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.